245 Southeast 20th Court. So this is a freshwater canal pool home. This kind of gives you an idea of the neighborhood. Nice street, maintained homes all the way down. Very uniform. This does has hurricane protection with accordion sliders. So they're already attached and all you do is close them. You have a nice screened in entry. This has one accordion you would put on here. But this is a nice door with the side light and the light in. We've got this tile throughout the house. Two guest bedrooms have wood laminate. So it's the traditional L floor plan that you see in Florida a lot. A lot of living space. And you walk in, this is a little coat closet here. Mirrors shows the age of the house. We do have a cathedral ceiling here. This is a laundry with a half bath and out to the garage. You get this living space here with a slider out to the lanai. Nice wood cabinetry with granite tops, the pass-through window out to the lanai. And there's also a slider over here out to the lanai and from the master bedroom. So this is what it looks like looking back around to the front door. I mean, there's just a lot of furniture in here. This is a really nice wide canal and it's a nice system. The water never gets low here. These are soft closed cabinets. Tile backsplash, stainless steel appliances. So they took the dome out of the ceiling and did a decorative and crown molding in the smallest ceiling fan I think I've ever seen, but hey, now let's go take a look. Laundry room has got some nice cabinetry and a folding counter. Another linen closet, more cabinetry. And this half bath is brilliant. Right here with a pocket door off of the laundry room. So when you come in out of the garage, you're not racing to the bathroom across the house, it's right here. And then there is a walk door out to the garage. And you can see how much space they've got in here and a little extra storage and a sink here. And the two guest bedrooms are back here. Again, tons of furniture, big furniture in the living areas, but these bedrooms are nice size, really. Guest bathroom, updated with a nice shower and the vanity that matches the kitchen. Guest bedroom number two. And this is a walk-in closet. You can see how big it is, how deep it is. Go check out the outside before we look at the master. Room. 
So this is a large lanai. There's the pass-through window from the kitchen sink. Pocket slider from the main area of the house. I'm not sure, the dining area. Pocket from the master. They've got the wall here and the windows that open up. Now what's really neat is this has all sliders out here. So you can close this in in the winter time, if it's raining, I mean, you could close it in and put a fan out here and keep it air conditioned if you want. It's not that hot out here at all. And it's hot today. Outside shower, these are the accordion hurricane shutters that lock together so the whole patio would be closed in. The pool's been resurfaced. This is a nice new resurface on the pool. And this extra screened in area over here is brilliant. So all your pool equipment's over here, out of the weather. They've got plenty of space. They've stored their kayaks. There's an idea, a sample of what the hurricane shutters, um, the accordions that close that window off. Got your nice pavered area. Nice sidewalk. easily get in and out with the kayak. They've even got the little roller here because they obviously do get in and out. But look at that nice. You can see the boats along here that people have. Really nice canal system, certainly. Jump. They got gutters all the way around the house. Okay, let's go check out the rest of the property. The pool is not heated, but it is salt water. The outdoor shower. Couple little duckies over there. Yeah, those sliders that come and close things off would be really nice. Okay. So this is the master. Again, you can see they've got some big pieces of furniture in here. The king bed, two nightstands, a bureau, a dresser, double vanity, one big walk-in closet, and a linen closet here. And then the shower and toilet is in this with a pocket door. So it's been nicely updated with nice tile. It does have a bench in there. Very well maintained. Definitely has the outdoor living space. And able to see the water right here from the window. That's the benefit of the older houses. You have the pass through. The new houses, they're not building at those 
those anymore. Like if you get rid of that, you could even, you don't have to have two TV spaces or three dining spaces. <laughs> oh, goodness.